Hello guys, welcome to my channel Tech Sec and Tabla, the combination of technology and art. So today for the first time I am going to create a technical video on this channel. Uh, some of you know that I am working in a Cisco as a security consulting engineer and uh, the product I am working on is Cisco Eyes Identity Services Engine. I was working on some of the feature uh, today uh, so I thought I can uh, make a video of it so that it will be beneficial for the users who are working on the Cisco Eyes. So before going to the, uh, the main topic, let me uh, tell you the basic of the Cisco Eyes. So Cisco Eyes stands for Cisco Identity Services Engine. It is a NAC solution, Network Access Control Solution. Uh, Ice is uh, useful as a AAA server. Triple elements of authentication, authorization, and accounting. So every device that is connecting to your network will get uh, authenticated, authorized, and based on that, it, the access will be given or rest, uh, the restrictions uh, will have will be happen. So we can configure such policies on the Cisco Eyes, and uh, we can control all the network devices that is connecting to uh, connecting to your network. So the so the visibility and the control is the main feature of the Cisco Eyes. So to today, uh, we are going to uh, check the, f the profiling feature of the Cisco Eyes. So what is profiling? The profiling is a way to identify the type of the device that is connecting to your network. So the uh, when I say the type of the device, the vendor, uh, the, the vendor of the, the the vendor of the device, like uh, whether it is Cisco IP phone or uh, is, is it a, a HP printer. So profiling is useful to determine the 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 vendor type, the the uh, the exact product that is connecting to your network, so that you will get the visibility and will have the control on it. So to uh, make the profiling successful, there are some uh, probes that is useful to uh, to get all the information about the product. So those probes we can configure on the Cisco Eyes. The probes contains the DSCP probes, DNS probes, SNMP probes, then uh, we have the AD probes, we have the NMAP and some device sensors which will be configured on on the Cisco switches, access devices. We can uh, say that it is as uh, CDP and LLDP. So, uh, combining all this uh, information, we the ICE will determine the exact type of the device. Uh, so, uh, to have uh, all this information, Cisco ICE has the pre-built. We can say pre-built package of the all the uh, of the uh, uh, all the profiles. The device profiles, whether it is from the uh, the healthcare or IoT uh, or any enterprise uh, 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 telephony or access points, anything. So, any device in the world, the OUI uh, profiles will be contained in that package. Okay. So we we uh, we we call it as a feed service from Cisco. So Cisco ICE has uh, options uh, to download it automatically over the internet, but uh, some of the enterprise have uh, uh, they have the Cisco ICE in their uh, restricted area, deployed in the restricted area, and, and do not have the access towards the internet. So Cisco has given the option to manually download the package and upload it into the Cisco ICE so that uh, the Cisco Eyes will have the, the the latest update uh, OUI list. The reason I'm saying it because uh, the day by day the new devices are introduced uh, in any field. So to uh, to make the uh, to have the track of that device, uh, uh, Cisco Eyes uh, uh, add, add the add the the the, de the profiles of those uh, those devices into that package, and uh, uh, we will get uploaded into Eyes. So the uh, the uh, the users which are using the Cisco Eyes will have the latest OUI data 
so any latest device connecting to your network will, will uh, this is called this is called ice will uh, identify that device and we will have the control on it so let me open uh, so we uh, we can call it as cisco ice offline profiling feed update so let me open uh, the cisco ice i have the one uh, cisco ice deployed let me log in So this is the Cisco Ice uh, version 2.7 and patch 7. So when you log into the Cisco Ice, you will get this uh, dashboard and some of the information of the 2.7 patch 7 version. So this is the dashboard where, where we, uh, we can see the total endpoints connected in the network that is 9, active endpoints are currently 0 the rejected endpoints anomalous be aware so we can get uh, uh, we can have the uh, all the visibility the alarms the uh, the node what is the cpu what is the memory usage cpu usage and any authentication latency so we can have all the the information on this cisco dashboard okay so let me go straight to the uh, the uh, profiling fed uh, service i will go to work center then go to the profiler go to the feeds so you can see here so if the Cisco ice has a uh, internet connection as an internet access it will get automatically uh, the feed service will get automatically updated if we have the internet but if we do not have the internet uh, the ice I mean the ice do not have the internet connection so we have the option called offline manual update so you can see here updates are downloaded manually and then must be applied to take effect so the, the, this is the option where download update profile policies I will click on it so uh, it will open a page where you need to uh, log in through, uh, to, uh, through your Cisco ID okay upon successful login you will get this feed service management portal so after that you can go to offline feed then download package so there are two options uh, whether we can uh, uh, download uh, the the whole package that contains the profiles plus OUI or if you just want uh, want to uh, download the OUI package you can select this option so I'm selecting profile profiles plus the OUI I will click on the generate package so the package in package is generating now it will take uh, like 5 to 10 seconds so you can see here we can download this package by clicking on this download package button so you can see here the download is in progress yeah the the format will be in the GPG so it is saved in uh, my download folder let me go towards the eyes so here we need to select that uh, that file that we have downloaded so let me check th so this is the feed service you can see it is downloaded today let me select this and after that click on apply update so it is uploading So you can see here the service response the feed service update was successfully started please check the logs for the results later so um, so this package contains the profiles plus OUI it will take around 20 to 30 minutes to uh, fully upload in the Cisco ice so after the final update you can see the latest update here okay let me also we can check from the the reports go to the operations reports go to reports and in the audit when you see the change configuration audit you can see the feed service today and it is updating like OUI feed service config you can see the change configuration I will click on it and we'll see what changes the package made in the Cisco eyes
it will take some time so yeah you can see here it is um, the modify properties are sun let me check again if we can filter via the administrator as feed service we can get the exact results you can see here UI so in this way uh, we can uh, upload the manual feed update profiles plus OUI so let me show you if you want to uh, upload only the package OUI package OUI package means only the the MAC addresses the vendor MAC, the updated MAC addresses of the of the devices so I will generate the package so note this feature is only supported on the ICE 2.7 and above versions so if you have the ICE version 2.3 2.4 this feature is not supported on it so let me click on generate it is generating the package let me download it you can see it is getting downloaded let me go back to ICE go back to FITS offline manual update I will I will choose the package okay it is this one and I will apply update so the OUI package is getting uploaded uh, for the uh, OUI package to be fully upload in the in the ice it will take around it, it will take uh, uh, 10 to 15 minutes only where uh, the uh, profiles plus OUI uh, took around uh, 20 to 30 minutes but this OUI uh, update will take around 10 to 15 minutes only so if you want to check the the contents in the package right uh, what 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 are the latest contents you can click here on the portal click here to view the offline update package contents so let me click on it so you will get this OUI package you can see here the the different vendors the complete OUI content file different vendors OUI the MAC address are getting updated in the in the Cisco eyes also if you want to see the uh, the contents of the uh, profiles plus OUI let me show you that one you need to click here on the download package and uh, this uh, content link you can see here these are the fit profile device profile so uh, it will uh, it will modify it will add this uh, uh, the profiles into the Cisco eyes so we can use it in the authorization profile and uh, we'll have the the granular control on the on the on the on the devices that is connecting to the Cisco eyes so you can see here uh, it is getting up, uh, applied the feed is getting applied uh, this, so this is the latest feed so this is how we can upload the the manual uh, profiling feed update in the Cisco eyes I hope uh, you will have the 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 understanding of this uh, profiling uh, manual update let me know your comments thank you have a good day